I'm trying this new trick I saw on TikTok where you're supposed to, ooh, you're supposed to put eyeshadow primer on your smile lines and it's supposed to help them stop creasing throughout the night. So we're gonna check that out now and see how it goes. You're supposed to put the concealer on your smile line and I'm also gonna put it underneath my eyes too. And then you're supposed to spray a brush with some setting spray. This is the NYX Matte Finish Finishing Spray. Don't judge me, this is what they did. Okay, we'll see what happens. I wanted to talk about friendships, more specifically adult friendships. As you know, we are all getting older. It's hard to hear, but it's true. My best friend and I, since elementary school, over the past year, we actually don't live in the same state anymore. But it's one of those friendships where even if you guys don't talk, for maybe a week or two weeks or whatever, you know the connection's still there. And even if you go a year without seeing each other in person, like we had to in quarantine, much like most of us did, we know it's just gonna like jump right back into place. And I love friendships like that. I'm not really one for high maintenance friendships, meaning I don't really like being friends with people that are gonna question you 24 seven about where you are, and why haven't you texted me back? Why are you tweeting, but you haven't replied to my text? I can't handle that. I can't handle a babysitter. I can't handle a pen pal like i don't know what you want from me we all have lives to live and i just can't be bothered with immature people like that because that's what they are they're immature they don't have much going on in their lives and i'm not even gonna like you know sound too mean here because i've been that person before but more so when i was younger like when i was a teenager and stuff because i didn't have shit else going on in my life so i was always like constantly trying to find people i hope i do not get any makeup on this Sure, you know, times have changed. I feel like we all have our own path, our own life to live. And just because you don't see your friends as often as you used to, that doesn't mean you guys aren't friends anymore. I think if the connection is still there and you guys know deep down that, you know, nothing's gonna tear your friendship apart. I think it's okay if you don't always see your friends or don't always talk to your friends 24 seven. I don't really have a script for this video today. I'm just kind of obviously doing my makeup here and I wanted to talk about friendships and the evolution of friendships. If you are around my age, I'm 24, which is insane still. I can't even believe I'm 24 years old. You know that there's like this sort of shift that happens when you grow up and you know, it started off when we all went off to college and everybody went to their own schools and you kind of had to make your own friendships in the new area you were in and kind of just figure out life on your own. And you don't really have the comfort of having your friend right there with you to walk down the hallways or to walk around campus because you're starting a new life, you're on your own. And so I think that is when I started to realize life changes drastically sometimes and you just have to know how to adapt to it. Like I said, my friend and I, my best friend in the entire world, I only really have one friend and that's Lonnie. She's been on this channel before. You've seen her in my Miami vlog. She's my best friend and I'm her best friend. Um, we have other acquaintances and stuff, of course, but like we are each other's soulmates, honestly. Like I, I honestly consider her a soulmate of mine because we just get each other. Like, like I said, no matter how much time goes by without us seeing each other, it's not gonna be awkward. We talk when we can, but we're both very career driven and career oriented women. And in this phase in our lives, when we're just trying to start our careers and get a, a jump start on everything that we wanna do, we don't really have time to see each other as often as we'd like. And also proximity. We both live in two completely different states. Um, you know, we're growing up and it's, it's sad. It is sad because we used to hang out almost every single day. Like I can remember summers of us just chilling in her basement, doing absolutely nothing, but having the time of our lives. And you know, that's, that's all changing now. Luckily in the day and age that we're in now, we have technology. And so tonight, Lonnie and I are having our very own virtual best friend date night. We are each going to a restaurant in our area. We're getting dressed up, doing our makeup as we do. And we are just going to put our AirPods in, get a table in the back and FaceTime and enjoy a nice dinner and drinks over the phone and just catch up. And I think that's wonderful. Like I just, I feel so lucky that we have things like FaceTime and texting and all that stuff. So 
it doesn't have to be so difficult when it comes to you know trying to make time for your friends i know we're in this like weird limbo of life where nothing is guaranteed and everything is like constantly changing but i just wanted to make this video to say make sure to spend time with your loved ones and your friends specifically even though your friend might have moved away or you guys might not be as close anymore proximity wise it's important to at least try to make an effort i mean we're planning on doing these monthly date nights this is what we used to do when we both lived in the same town we used to go out every single friday night after work to just you know distress from the week and just reconnect and talk to one another and i'm just so excited to have this opportunity now because we've been so busy over the past few months i have my youtube channel she has her career she just moved into her own beautiful apartment like she has real life stuff to worry about just like i do having this time to reconnect is going to be so much fun and i'm grateful for that like it's just nice to have a relationship and a friendship where you know that no matter how much time passes is this out of focus I can't tell. It's just nice to have a relationship where you know that no matter how much time passes, you know, you guys always have each other. And I, I'm really grateful for that. So I encourage you, if you have a friend that you haven't seen in a long time, or if your friend moved, I know it's difficult because when you move to a new place you, and you don't have any friends, it's really hard as an adult to make friends. Like, can we just talk about that for a second? It is so difficult to make friends as an adult because especially when you're in a, like a different phase or headspace in your life, being that I'm assuming most of us watching are like in our mid twenties. So I'm just gonna say us. Most of us at this age are usually focused on clubbing and going out and partying and i'm not knocking anybody that's into that like i like a good drink i like a good club and experience every once in a while too but that's just not something that i particularly like partaking in every single weekend and a lot of people our age are into that and like i said there's absolutely nothing wrong with that i'm just saying for me it's kind of hard for me to make friends that like see things the same way i do and you know number one i don't go out so it's not like you know, I'm really putting in any effort to <laughs> to make friends. I'm kind of just talking just to talk, but you know, when you do come across people your age, it's hard to find people that have things in common with you. That goes for dating too, but that's neither here nor there. We can, that could be a whole other video. Chuh. I just wanted to say, make sure to hold on and cherish the, the relationships and the friendships that you have now because life is so short. And I think things like, you know, making time out of your day to FaceTime every once in a while, just to check in, on one another. I think that's really important when it comes to friendships, especially long distance friendships. I'm the easiest person to be friends with. Like you don't need to do much with me. Like you can hit me up every once in a while. You can hit me up whenever you feel like it because chances are I'm either too tired to reply to your text or I just don't feel like talking. I have like 50,000 things running through my head all the time. So I can't always like entertain people on the phone which is why I'm a horrible texter backer. I feel like sometimes people might think I come across like I don't want to talk to them and it's not that whatsoever it's just when you have so much going on in your life already sometimes you just don't have the you simply just don't have the energy to text back all the time so i am okay with being in a low maintenance friendship i know the love is there i know you got me i got you if anything were to seriously go down you would drop anything to come and make sure everything's okay and i would do the same for you but you definitely do not have to text me 24 7. you do not have to constantly send me things on on twitter like if we if we go several days without talking i'm not gonna be worried i'm not gonna think the friendship's over i will be like oh cool she doing what she gotta do i'm doing what i gotta do and that's cool i also think growing up and not really having your best friend around all the time kind of teaches you how to decipher between a good friend and a fake friend i can easily tell off the bat if somebody's gonna be my friend or not by their mannerisms by how the way they respond to certain things the way they move i'm very like is that considered intuitive or is that like i'm pretty good at fe feeling people out and i'm good at reading people um so i've been through enough fake friendships and trash friendships to decipher the real from the fake and so that's the reason why i don't really have many friends is because i'm just i've been played and tried one too many times probably like three too many times actually. I don't really have patience and it's really hard for me to let new people in. So I guess I kind of have walls up when it comes to new friendships. I mean, I'm open to having new friends. I definitely am. Like if I were to meet the right person that made me feel, you know, like how, how a friendship should make me feel, which is uplifted and 
you know, just fun. I think friendships should be fun. I'm also filming like TikToks and other videos like all at the same time right now. So I'm trying to hurry up and finish this makeup because I gotta leave soon. I'm always running late. I'm the queen of running late. It's just, I think it's a lot easier now because I've been through so many terrible friendships where people were literally like belittling me and talking behind my back. And for a long time, I just wanted people to like me. I just wanted to have friends because I had like a very pure heart in my opinion anyway. Like I just, I never really had bad intentions with people but i guess people took my kindness for weakness and you know i've had i've had my fair share of frenemies in my life i've had my fair share of fake friendships where people were literally talking behind my back telling me one thing doing another not giving the same energy i give them blah 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 the works you guys have all probably been there too at some point or maybe you have been the fake friend. I mean, I've probably been a fake friend to somebody at least once in my life. We all probably have, but I know I was on the receiving end for a lot of the times and it was hard for me to, you know, to realize and recognize not everybody has your best intentions at heart. And so I guess that's why nowadays I come across so like walls. <laughs> I, don't, I can't think of another word. I, maybe I come across like I have a lot of walls built up because I kind of do, I guess. I don't let people in easily and that could be my Scorpio rising talking, but I just don't let people in easily. I don't have much energy to give. And so I just feel like I would rather give my energy to people that truly deserve it and have proved to me time and time again that they are my true friend and they do deserve my, my love, my trust, my energy, all that stuff. I would way rather have one or two or just a few good, good, good friends I can truly rely on. Like if I feel like I can't cry in front of you, I don't wanna be your friend. I don't want you to be my friend. I wanna feel like I can bear my soul to you, say any and everything, and you're not gonna judge me. You're not gonna look at me like I have 10 heads, unless I deserve it. That's the case too. I also want somebody who can tell me when I'm wrong and when I need to think some things through, which Lonnie is definitely that person. She will tell me when I am being foolish, but I value that in friendships a lot. And I think people that wanna be surrounded by, uh, surrounded around yes men and people that are, that'll just say and do anything for them because they're afraid of like, I guess not having friends or whatever. I can't deal with that. I've been that person. I'm at an age where I just don't have the time and energy to entertain everybody. And so I keep my circle small. And also I just really enjoy my own company. Like I, there's never a time where I'm like, oh, I really wish I was out doing something. Like, no, I always want to be home. I'm always more than happy to stay home. I have absolutely no problem. These eyebrows are not it today, but you know what? We gotta go. We just gonna leave it how it is. I would say maybe if you're on the younger side and you don't have a ton of friends and you feel bad about it, honestly don't. Like, I think when you are in a period in your life where you notice you don't have too many people around you, I think that's the time to start doing some introspective work and thinking about some of the things you want in life and some of the things you're willing to tolerate and not willing to tolerate. When you do that, you'll never feel lonely. I mean, yes, we all get a little lonely sometimes, but I think if you are confident in who you are and you are sure of yourself and you're aware of your boundaries and all that fun stuff, I think when you take a step back and stop trying to chase things and you just sit back and relax and let the things that are supposed to come to you happen naturally and organically, things will end up being much better and much easier. That goes for relationships, that goes for anything in life. If you feel like you have to chase, chase, chase something, it might not be for you, you know?